Hey everyone, Dave here. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the most important things you do in your Lofty CRM is setting up your buyers on a property search. Now, disclaimer, if a buyer signs up on your Lofty website, they're automatically going to be set up on a property alert based upon what they were searching for on your website. Awesome. Cool feature. So with that being said, once that property alert is created, you can modify it afterwards. If you want to add a city, area, change price point, whatever it is. But just so you know, any lead that signs up on your website as a buyer gets created an automatic property alert and gets sent out every day. And of course, that can be modified as well. So before I jump in, if you haven't done so, please like, subscribe, and share this content because I'm a big fan of sharing is caring. And I've been a member of Lofty for almost eight years. So yeah, let's rock it out. So what you want to do is we want to go under your people. Find that buyer lead that you want to attach a deal to, or a property alert to. Go under engagement and hit new alert. Pretty simple. So when it's a buyer that's come on your website, it's going to show the inquiries on here on this form. But since this is a made up lead, we're going to do it this way. So what you do, you just type in the city. So we'll type in Bloomington, Minnesota. Perfect. And you can put the price point, you can put the bedrooms, all that stuff. You can tweak it as much as you want to. Um, me personally, if the lead hasn't told you exactly what they want, put it as general as possible. So if it's just a cold lead that's that says, hey, I'm looking in X, X county, just put them on that county, right? Main thing of property alerts is to get something in the buyer's email box from you, branded you, that's engaging, all right? So again, don't the, the tighter knit that you bring this down, the fewer properties are going to be shown, especially in a tight seller's market. So again, I like to go broad and just put in the main things like price, bedrooms. Those are the, pro in, the in the area, of course, those are the main things. So as you go through, you can modify it. But like I said, keep it general. Hit next. And then alert name. So whatever you want to call it. And then I don't handpick listings because if you do it that way, it takes a lot of your time. But if you have a really good client that you really want to take a full hands-on approach, you can handpick listings that you can send them. Um, I don't send a copy to myself. I have enough buyers that I'd, it'd just be a bombardment of, of emails. And then this means send alert immediately. So as soon as you hit save, boom, that alert gets sent to that lead. Yep. Yep. So you want to use, so I have these three checked no matter what. So there's the email, subject line. I like to call it like your personal home search in X city, whatever you want to put on there. And then this is going to be your frequency. Do you want to do it daily, instantly? So instantly means as soon as a house comes up that meet these parameters, they get an email blast to them. In a really hot competitive market, and if the buyer is super serious, Keep put it on instantly. Otherwise, daily is good for the for the typical buyer. If they're going to be out looking, you know, maybe five six months, you can put them on a weekly. But there, there's your options there. And then if you want to put it on what specific days, so a.m. or p.m. So right now this lead is set up on Monday a.m. and Thursday a.m.s. Yet save. Yep. There you go. Save. Boom, so now you have your lead alert over here and it shows the search criteria. That, that's it. That's all you gotta do for your property alerts. Super easy, super to do. But if you have any leads that are in your system that are actively searching and don't have a property alert, stop watching these videos, get on your CRM and get that fixed because that's gonna bring you money. All right, like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next video.